Estimating the yield of crops prior to harvest is a useful skill for a range of reasons, from insurance assessments to harvest management. Paul Parker, District Agronomist with New South Wales DPI, has been accurately estimating yields in crop judging for the last 38 years as the New South Wales State Crop Judge. In this video, Paul shares his tips for assessing cereal yields. Well firstly, I make sure that I do a reasonable walk into an area before I start assessing yield, Karen, because I want to get an idea of the, the average density of the crop. So I'm starting to look for density, uh, evenness of the crop and in terms of its density, the, uh, how well the grain's filling, how the heads are filling, the uh, size of heads, um, and just an overall view of things that might be present, whether weeds or whatever, that may impact on, on that yield as well. Once I've walked through it, I start and assess what I believe is average areas of the crop, and that's where I'll start and do a, a count. Uh, and so I can do the formula, but then I can also uh, look for light areas or heavy areas or whatever uh, to, to get an assessment. You count the number of heads uh, in that metre of row, measure out your metre of row, count the number of heads, then work out uh, average grains per head. I count 10 heads and I have a look, at, before I start counting, I make an assessment if 60% of the heads are around one size uh, or reasonable size, 20% uh, of great big heads and 20% of small heads. I'll do six average ones, two small ones and two of the big ones, trying to get an average across there. I only count one side of the head. I've, over the years I've done a lot of counting on both sides and I find that uh, one side is basically 50% of the grains, so I just double it. And then the formula is the number of grains per head multiplied by the number of heads multiplied by a factor of 0 0.027 to 0.029 and that's to take account of grain size and per thousand grains and divided by the row spacing in centimetres. So if it's a uh, 25 centimetre row spacing you'd obviously divide by 25. I try and do three of those counts on average areas in the crop or an assessment on whether it's thick or, or thinner areas and the percentage of those and, but I make sure I do give a good walk through the crop so I'm getting an assessment. So I tend to do a loop um, I can go 100 metres or at times more if I'm not satisfied that I'm seeing an average but usually a loop of, of uh, 70 to 100 metres out from where you start and come back to that point gives you a good idea. Certainly grain size and grain development uh, so you, you'll br rub this grain out of a number of heads just to see how uh, big and plump the grain is or whether it's uh, affected by uh, may end up having screening small grain or may have some other factors there. Disease is a big issue and I've certainly and that's one of the reasons for doing a reasonable walk through the paddock is to try and see if there's disease there and if it's there how prevalent it is how, how much of it and what impact that might have on a crop. They're the heads that you certainly need to look at to see if the grain's going to pinch up and whether it's going to blow out the back. Um, other issues that you look for are frost damage because that's going to reduce the size of uh, or the amount of grain per head but it's also important to remember that if you had 50% of a head frosted does not necessarily mean you're going to have 50% yield loss because the remaining grain is going to be large and plump to make up for that. Uh, said so the density of the crop that's going to influence uh, head size and grain numbers per head. The, another issue that people uh, or judges need to be aware of is the uh, maturity of the crop because if you're getting a crop that is uh, still quite green uh, then you need to assess the, certainly the soil moisture, you can judge that by looking at it, just scratching a heel to see if there's enough moisture there to, for that head to finish. If it's very dry and the ground's cracking and powdery uh, and uh, the, it's becoming under stress then that could indicate 
that, uh, the, that head may not fill to its potential so you end up with smaller grain not necessarily screenings but the grain just doesn't reach its full potential compared with a crop that is fully mature big plump grain uh, it's already there but sometimes you'll come across a crop that is in very early stages of development in, in terms of grain size that becomes very difficult to assess and basically all you can do is try and determine in your assessment whether there is enough moisture in the ground to enable that crop to finish or whether it's just going to struggle later in the season. I find one of the most critical aspects of judging a crops is always to give feedback to the grower whether that's be just on the, on the areas that you're judging whether it's a nice even crop it's a high yielding crop the general comments but also give him some feedback on problems that you may have found that the grower can address or may be able to address in the future to help him to grow even better crops.